initially it was just a job. It started when I was when I was very, very young working in a pizza place and uh, kind of worked my way up from dishwasher to doing everything there. Moved on to short order cooking in a hospital coffee shop. Cooked through the last semester of, of school up at SU. Yeah, I came here for, for a commercial art degree and ended up with a fine art degree. I actually kind of a role model or, or just one of those influential people that you meet along the way. I had a, a freshman design teacher who was just hugely influential and he sort of got me into sculpture, um, got me into to working with my hands and sort of away from painting and drawing and so forth and I'm sort of very grateful for that. Food has sort of become my medium I guess, you know, I still work with my hands and still create so it's, it's kind of the, the new outlet for me. And I love being in the kitchen, you know, I just, I love uh, when I, especially when it's, when I'm creating a new menu, you know, and trying new things. Uh, I mean, there's sort of the day-to-day -day prepping and, and, you know, just upkeep with things, and that's, that's fun too, but it's especially fun when you're, when you're making something new for the first time, you know, and, and testing it out. So, I, like, I often describe my job basically as, as putting out fires or jumping through hoops. It's doing whatever you can to make the show go on and to make the customer's experience feel as though everything is perfectly fine, regardless of the chaos that might be happening behind the scenes. You wear a lot of hats as a restaurateur. <laughs> you, you really do. I, I worked, um, I don't know if you're familiar with the, the concept of found objects in art, but you know, taking something that already has an identity and presenting that in a way or combining it with other things so that you sort of give it a new identity. So when I saw this church sitting empty, the idea of putting a restaurant in it, um, a restaurant in a church to me just totally resonated with that sort of artistic sensibility. I, I'm someone who loves, who loves warm weather and loves the sun and you know, here I am in Syracuse, so I, you know, it, for me I wanted some place that was going to feel very warm and vibrant and, and so when people walked in the door they felt transported to that kind of, that kind of locale and I think we pulled it off. Uh, you know, I'm kind of passionate about the, about the space and this was like creating this was sort of a piece of art for me. Um, and one thing I've really noticed over time, since I'm, I'm often kind of in the, in the kitchen window back there and I see people as they walk in the front door, you can always tell the regulars from the first timers because the regulars <laughs> walk in and they're sort of panning, you know, horizontally across because they're looking for the, for the host to seat them. And the newcomers walk in and they kind of do this, like, you know, <laughs> the, 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 their eyes go up to the, uh, you know, 20 foot tall blue ceilings. and and they're kind of awed by the space, and that's, that's just really gratifying. I literally painted the ceiling myself, yes, on, on, a, on one of those like electric scaffolding things that you drive around, because there was nothing else in here at the time. It was just empty, and so I was <laughs> cruising around in this thing, you know, going up and down, and, and all suited up with a paint sprayer and, and doing, the, uh, doing the ceiling, yeah. I think, I think, you know, the one thing is like, most people don't realize what goes into sort of running a restaurant. It's, it's, it's a lot like theater, and the show must go on. 